do it. All right, this is the setup we'll be shooting today. Um, it's Remington 700 action. Um, it's a 300 wind mag. Uh, I just put this um, Criterion uh, Remage barrel on it. And uh, we got the Spec War 762 can. Um, we're going to be shooting uh, new Sig Sauer brass. Hornaday ELDX 212 grain bullets. Alright guys, our first string of uh, 10 rounds is done. Uh, this is what it looks like. Guys, second string of 10 is in the books. Uh, this is what we got going on. As you can see, um, not too bad. All right, let's uh, shoot the third string. Alright guys, round three is in the books and I'll show you what we got. As you guys can see, we have some uh, pretty promising groups even though uh, the OCW test, uh, we're not really paying attention to the size of the groups. What we're actually looking for um, is like this right here. You see how all three of those groups over um, a full grain are very, very consistent um, in their placement. That's what we're looking for. Uh, just looking at this target right now without actually kind of breaking down the numbers and stuff, I would honestly uh, venture to say that 74.5 grains um, is probably my optimal charge weight. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna do some measuring and all that stuff when I get home and uh, I'll include that in the video also but uh, just looking at it right now um, I would say 74.5 looks to be uh, my optimal charge weight the OCW test or optimal charge weight test is a test designed by Dan Newberry in short what we're looking for is the most pressure stable load over a wide range of powder charge we are not only going to find this by using velocity, but more importantly, we are going to look at the group and the orientation on the target. What we are looking for are the three consecutive charge weights that have the same orientation on the target, regardless of group size. Right now, we are just looking for the window of charge weights that print consistently on the target. We will fine tune the group size with seating depth adjustment after we find the optimal charge weight. As you can see, 74, 74 and a half, and 75 grains produce extremely consistent placement on the target over a full grain difference in charge weight. The velocity across this window was also pretty consistent for using virgin full length size brass. I believe these numbers will only tighten up from here. We are going to choose the charge weight that falls in the center of the window this will be the optimal charge weight. So our OCW is 74.5 grains. This gives us a full half grain window on either side to help mitigate variances in case capacities, weather, slight inconsistencies in powder measuring and differences in lot numbers of powder. The whole point of the test is to find the most stable load possible. 
I hope this video helped you guys to better understand what this test is and how it can help you develop an excellent load for your rifle. I recommend visiting Dan Newberry's website. He goes a lot more in depth on the test and there are some variances based on whether you are working up a load for short action, long action, or magnum calibers. We plan on doing a few more videos where we'll be verifying the consistency of the load maybe seating depth adjustments, and long-range accuracy, so please stay tuned for more.